Hi everyone, this is Nyla from the Packaging Lab. Today I want to go over how to make a press-ready high-res PDF. So I have here a standard pouch file and basically it's been set up already um, to the sizes that I need. And so I want to go through a few things that I double check before I go ahead and make a PDF. So the first thing that I like to do is make sure that all of my text is in outline mode. I don't want to have any fonts in my file. The more fonts you have, the more problems that can arise with fonts transferring, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So in Illustrator, I just go ahead and outline all my text and then it becomes artwork and we're good to go. So that is all done. So that's the first thing I check. The second thing that I check is the color mode. Since we are a four color process uh, digital printing company, we want all of our files in CMYK. And right here, it shows me the name of my file along with what mode it's in. Now, if this was incorrect and we were in the wrong mode and it was an RGB, I would go up here to file and as you can see, it says document color mode, go there, and you just click on whichever one you want. So I could switch it back to RGB, and now it says RGB, So, I, but I don't want that because we're not printing in RGB. Uh, so we're printing in CMYK, so I made sure that my file is all set up in CMYK. And one of the other things that I like to just quickly double check is that I have all of my colors in here are CMYK as well um, and no spot colors. So I just want to make sure that uh, we don't have any spot colors in there so we're good to go with that. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is check my file size and my bleeds. So I'm going to go here to my artboards, click on that, and this is going to tell me what size I have set up. So I can just double check that that's the size that I want. So it's a width of nine, which it's a four and a half by three and uh, a quarter pouch. Uh, so it's a laid flat now, as you can see. So it's nine by three and a quarter, which is the size that I want. So I'm going to go with that. And I'll close those out. And then the last thing I want to check is my bleed setting. So I'm going to go from to file back to document setup and I'm going to look in here and now it's telling me here's what my bleed settings are. So I do want a bleed on the left and the right of my file which actually is the top of one that a pouch is put together that will be the top of your pouch and so we want to have a bleed there so that everything runs off um, and when it's trimmed, there's no gaps or anything like that. However, on the top and the bottom of your file, which actually is going to be the sides of your pouch, we actually have what we consider the opposite of a bleed or the no print area. So this little white area that you can see here on the top and the bottom is actually the no print area that allows for trimming in the process of making the pouch. And so I don't want all of my bleeds to be the same all the way around my document. I just want a bleed of two millimeters on the right and two millimeters on the left. Um, so none on the top and none on the bottom, which means that you have to click this link uh, icon here to make sure that it's got the slash through it which means that you can make your left your right your top your bottom all different if you want if you click on this it's going to make all of the bleed settings all the way around your document the same and we don't want that uh, we want it to be different so I'm going to make sure to click off of that and have the slash there and we are good to go I'm going to click OK and so basically it looks like I have everything set up in my file the way I want it. So I'm going to go to file and I'm going to go to save as and I already made one in here so you can see it but I am going to make sure that I am in Adobe PDF for my format. I'm going to hit save. I do want to replace the one that I already made because I'm making a new one and for my Adobe PDF preset I'm going to pick PDF X1A 2001. That is a high resolution format that's compatible with our presses here at the Packaging Lab. And for me, I pick Acrobat 7 because that's what I'm compatible with. Um, 
you'll pick whatever one you want and there may show up some uh, little caution signs depending on how you have your files set up. Um, it doesn't appear that any are showing up here in different formats, but sometimes that can happen and you just need to address that um, as you go. But I'm going to do a Acrobat 7. General information here, preserve Illustrator editing capabilities. I usually leave that the same. You can click on here if you want to view the PDF right after saving it, which we can click on that. Um, so it's, these are just preferences. You can decide to um, choose those or not choose those. Compression, I leave the same. Um, these are usually chosen based on what I have up here. And so I leave those the same. Marks and bleeds, um, this is actually important. We do not want any printer's marks on your files when you send them to us. So don't print or pick any of these printer's marks that are up here. You can though click on the use document bleed settings. It's just the easiest way to do it. And then what happens is it grays this whole area out. And you can slightly see here that it's put in the actual settings that I had in the document um, it's brought them into making the PDF and it's changed them to be exactly what I have picked in my file, which is what we want. Output, I again, that's, this is determined by this and I don't ever really change that. Advanced security, summary, um, those are things that I don't usually change. Um, that's a preference if you decide that you want to. Then I hit save PDF and it just opened up our PDF so we can take a look at it and everything looks good and so I am good to go. That's what I wanted and so I'm going to close out of here and that is how you make a high res press ready PDF.